Politicians will only use and dumb you. IGP wants policemen. Article promises maximum electricity and enhanced strength. Nigeria approves 30 million naira for sports fiesta. Instagram restores EFCC's account. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, has asked officers and many of the Nigeria police force to be a political before, during, and after the general elections. Usman issued this warning during a visit to the Kogi State Police Command headquarters in local jail on Monday. He said, Let me send a note of warning to you all. Be a political before, during, and after the forthcoming election. You must not allow yourself to be used because they will only use and dumb you after the elections. You have a duty and responsibility to uphold the Constitution and to protect the lives and properties of citizens. He cannot afford to fail in carrying out this task. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has promised to revive Dadin Kua Adam to generate light for the country when he is elected in forthcoming elections. Speaking at the PDP presidential campaign rally in Kobe on Monday 21st of November 2024, Atiku said all the roads linking to Gombe to Adamawa, Borno, Bauchi, and Rubi will be constructed for the purpose of enhancing trade and commerce under his government. Also speaking, the chairman of the PDP campaign council and governor of Akwaibon State, Udom Emmanuel, said that the economy will bounce back and the Naira will be strengthened when the PDP comes on board in 2023. The Niger government says it has approved 30 million Naira for the 21st National Sport Festival, scheduled for Asaba in Delta from November 28th to December 10, 2022. Al Aji Baba Sheshi, who is the Director of Sports in the State's Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sport Development, announced this in Mino on Monday. We thank the state government for approving 30 million euros to enable all sports equipment and to prosecute the 2022 NSF in Delta, he said. Sheshi said that 124 man contingent from the state, made up of 96 athletes and 28 officials, will participate in 20 sports during the fiesta. He said that the event includes athletics, boxing, badminton, canoeing, chess, golf, handball, hockey, judo, and carrots. Others are kickboxing, paraathletics, scrabble, squash, table tennis, taekwondo, long tennis, weightlifting, wrestling, and wushu kung fu. The director said that one week camping had already begun for the athletes in Mino. He said that the state's contingent will leave Mino on November 28th to meet the inauguration of the Games on November 30th. Sheshi said the government had inaugurated a fundraising committee to source for money for campaign of the athletes. The Instagram account of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, foremost Nigerian law enforcement agency, saddled with the responsibility of making Nigeria free from all forms of economic and financial crimes, which was suspended on October 28, 2022, has been restored. The account was restored on 21st of November 2022, following appeal by the Commission, Supported by the evidence of compliance with community guidelines, EFCC tweeted. Here are the headlines again. Politicians will only use and dumb you. IGP wants policemen. Article promises maximum electricity and air and trade. Ninja approves 30 million euro for sport fiesta. Instagram restores EFCC's account. Thank you for listening. I am Oteli Kimufi.